The Voyage at Holiday World is my favorite wooden roller coaster that I've ridden, but Indiana holds another ride that not too many people know about. Cornwall Express at Indiana Beach and Voyage make Indiana possibly the best state for wooden roller coasters. These two coasters are my top two woodies, and I've ridden woodies like The Beast, Mystic Timbers. But why is Cornball Express up there as one of my favorites? Cornball Express is built by Custom Coasters International, or CCI for short. While they are defunct, they built some really good rides. This ride started operating on May 18th of 2001, and I think that it's a pretty good fit for the park. The queue line really doesn't have any theming, but it doesn't really need any as this ride generally doesn't get a super long line. The ride operators I experienced with this ride were amazing. They really cared about the guest experience. The train has 12 rows, 2 rows per car. Um, there is only one train, but that shouldn't be a problem as Indiana Beach gets very little crowds. Also, the buzz bar, the operators are really good at their job. The ride has buzz bars and a seat belt as a restraint. The ride operators do pull the seat belt tight, but without the seat belt, the ride would probably feel rather dangerous. If you don't know what a buzz bar is, it's basically a form of restraint which has a set position. And this ride's set position is about 8 inches above your legs. And it is insane. Because of the lap bar is so high, it makes you feel like you're about to fly out whenever you first get introduced to buzz bars. Once you dispatch out of the station, turn about 180 degrees to the left and begin ascending the 55 foot tall lift hill. I was surprised when I found out that it's only 55 feet tall. It looks at least like 90 feet tall or something. It t only takes about 15 seconds to get to the top. I rode this coaster in the second to back row, so everything you're hearing me say only applies to that row, but it'll most likely apply to the back. Coast down the first drop, which is turned to the left, making for some fantastic laterals in airtime. Go over an airtime hill, which gives amazing floater airtime. It is very strong. Go over a hill and into a turn around section and dive off the turnaround. This part delivers crazy airtime and laterals. Turn to the left a bit and rise up into another airtime moment. At this point, the airtime of the ride is almost over. Hit some anti-rollbacks and turn left and fly down another drop, which goes right under her Hoosier Hurricane's lift hill, making for some great head choppers against the support structure. Pull out and go to the left and rise up into a weaker airtime hill and then go into a minimally banked helix. And the first time you turn to the... And this is the first time you that you turn to the right in the entire ride. The final half of the helix is especially flat, making for some great laterals. Go over a small bunny hop and get some minor airtime. Turn to the left a bit and go over another hop. Dip down to the right and rise up into the brake run. Something I noticed about this ride is that the first half only has left turns and the second half mostly only has right turns. Anyways, this roller coaster has a phenomenal layout with multiple airtime moments that will throw you out of your seat. It is insane. It's also pretty smooth as well. Of course, it still has the classic wooden roller coaster rattle, but it's not like majorly rough at all. If I could go back to Indiana Beach right now just to ride Cornball Express, I would do that in a heartbeat. I definitely recommend stopping by and riding this if you're in the area, as this coaster is so much fun. It gives really great airtime and laterals. And it does all of that with really opened restraints. But uh, that's about all I've got to say about Cornball Express. It is just really fun. But that's about that's going to wrap up today's review about Cornball Express. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like this video. Comment below what you think of Cornball Express if you've written it and have a great rest of your day.